well, and he's having trouble speaking. He sounds so, terrible. He called well, me. He's like, Andy, I can't go to hold a Scott. Can you just make sure that you get Scott in the meeting? Because he said he'd do it, but he's not answering his phone. And he's like coughing and hacking into the phone while he's talking to me. I'm like, wow. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Yeah. I thought about, he, his voice all raspy. He's counting all that money he has, you know, he just his voice just can't handle it. All that money that he's counting that he has. You tell him he can um, count without having to say it out loud. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We'll have to tell him that. So that's his problem. Um, yeah, he sent me a message last night and I said, yes, let me, um, yeah, I'm uh, mountain standard time. Uh, so a couple hours ahead of you guys and, uh, or behind, yeah, behind. And he, um, yeah, I thought I said, let me make sure I can hook into the Wi-Fi. Everything looks good. So I sent a message last night and told him, yep, I'm good. We'll be on. So, um, but yeah, we, um, uh, for, I, I see we got a, we got a small group today and that's fine. Um, kind of works out good this way. And we're, um, this is the alternatives meeting. Uh, we're part of the FREA group, uh, Freedom First Real Estate Investors Association of Rochester. And now uh, this is the alternatives group. We talk about how to make money, uh, in other ways other than landlording. Uh, there's a whole separate group for that as everybody on here knows. And um, yeah, so we talk about alternative methods of making money uh, through self storage, lending, um, flipping properties, um, buying tax liens, and all that other fun stuff. So, um, but it's more of a question and answer type group. And um, we, um, I, I haven't been on in probably over a month just because of traveling and other commitments. Uh, so that's why I have been on and um, I'm glad to see Barrington on here again so what's up Barrington so but uh hey, good I, morning. <clears throat> morning okay and uh the I I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize for not being on last month and uh, what we like to do uh, we go around the room, introduce new people. If we have new people who are on the group, uh, we'd like for them to kind of introduce themselves, uh, tell us who they are, uh, where they're at, um, what type of investments uh, they're looking to get into and where they're at in their real estate journey. And I'm not sure, um, uh, Dally Yang, is this your first meeting or have you been on before? Oh, we can't hear you if you're talking. Yeah, Dolly, if you're talking, we can't hear you. Let's you are unmuted, you. but we can't hear you. No. Nope. Okay. Well then. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. All right. And now Eugene White, are you new to the group? I'm, it's not a name I'm familiar with, but maybe you've been on before. Trying to talk, Eugene. You're muted. <clears throat> nope. Okay. All right. So, okay. There we are. Okay. Great. Okay. Everybody sees the message from Dally. Mm -hmm. uh, second message. Great. All righty. And um, <clears throat> oh, uh, disclaimer at the beginning. Uh, I've seen it come up as a screen pop. That's great. Uh, we don't offer uh, legal or tax advice here. We just share information. You really should check with your attorney, your tax consultant uh, before acting on anything that we say here. And um, that's, that's kind of a quick disclaimer. And you read it when it popped up. So, but uh, we also um, we'll go around the room. Uh, random members. If what we'll do now Leon, if you have something you want to say, or Joe McGuire. Um, Absolutely. Leon, is everybody knows the president, but go right ahead, Leon. Uh, yes. Um, just wanted to remind people that on the second Thursday of the month, we'll have our general meeting. And the, the speaker for the upcoming general meeting, believe it or not, Scott sort of uh, led into it is an attorney and the attorney is uh, 
Steve Peterson. It gives uh, individuals uh, that are there at the session or uh, on Zoom to actually ask specific questions of uh, an attorney that is very well known by our group and very well known in upstate New York and has goes all the way back to being the attorney that actually created Freedom First Real Estate Investment Association. So um, uh, highly knowledgeable, pretty much on any topic that people want to talk about from a um, real estate investment perspective in, uh, in New York. The um, thing that we do is we invite people to send out pre sort of pre-questions that they might have an interest in asking uh, Steve. So he would be ready to uh, address those sorts of things. So this is uh, my invitation to you to send your, uh, your information to Freedom First. You can go to myself or either go to admin at Freedom First and we would have that information and be able to pass that on to Steve. And at the same time, um, it sort of pays for your uh, membership because you get an opportunity to get a detailed answer coming from an attorney. And you know, um, those guys aren't exactly the cheapest in the world. So, um, so I invite people to do that. Um, and I think that's the, the only item that I have at this point in time. Uh, so Scott, I'll give it back over to you. Let me just ask before I do that. Uh, Joe and uh, Andy, am I missing anything here that I should have included? Uh, other than it sounds like good cause eviction is going to die on the vine for this legislative session. No. Um, lots of stuff has been going on, but they yeah. have uh, they have basically tabled it until they come back in September. Yeah. They did. Uh, yeah, no, the only thing is, uh, for what it's worth, the second week in, um, in June is next Thursday, uh, evening meeting at Da Vinci's for the general meeting. Yep. And on Zoom. Yeah, I mean, the, on the um, general meeting, we typically do a combined Zoom and in-person meeting. So it's at the same venue and always on the second Thursday. So thanks for that input. And um, as uh, Andy was indicating there, we'll see what happens with um, good cause eviction. And that was one of the major wins for us in New York and investors in New York. Uh, that are in the uh, landlording housing provider space and for anyone who really invests in New York. Um, so we were able to do some things, of course, at the local level, but all that would have been for not, so to speak, if uh, they would have passed it at the state level. So still fighting to um, to make sure that that doesn't happen and it's something that we'll continue to do. Okay, Scott, back over to you. Okay, good. Hey, Leon, uh, when is the picnic? And if you want to talk a little bit about that, that'd be great too. People can start <clears throat> planning on that, you know, put that date on their calendar. Do we have a date yet for the picnic? Yeah, um, the, the picnic is the second... Mr. McGuire, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we ended up with the second Thursday. Yes. Yeah. The second some, Thursday. Yeah. Sometime we actually have it on a Friday, but that's been a while since we've done that. And so it's the second Thursday of August. Uh, we'll keep pretty much the format that we had last year, um, where we will invite a number of politicians uh, to actually come to the event. In the past, of, um, except for last year, 
we, it's always been um, talk about your real estate deals and talk about your accomplishments and we'll just have a great time. And um, made the decision that that was not, uh, that was great, but not, we could probably increase the value of people's time by having them meet and talk to uh, individuals who were from the city of Rochester or politicians um, in our region. And the objective is clear and that is to have individuals who are leaders of the community from a political standpoint get a chance to actually know and meet individuals that are housing providers that are actually engaged in real estate investing, that actually uh, can talk to individuals face to face. And um, I think that some of that was uh, instrumental in us being able to pass, sorry, us being able to ensure the non-passage of the local uh, attempt to put um, the uh, good cause eviction in place. And we want to continue that. We invited the mayor of Rochester. Well, at that point in time, he hasn't even taken office, but we knew the person was going to be the mayor. Uh, uh, the probability was relatively high. And so we'll invite the mayor and several other politicians from our area to uh, be at the picnic. And uh, we talked about it in several sessions. This week, we'll send out our invites to them and ask them to, uh, to come and enjoy uh, being with us and sharing some of their thoughts with the uh, individuals that are in the audience, which would be you. I'm hoping that everybody here would be able to be there. So that's a, a quick update, if you will, on the, um, on the picnic that we have coming up this year. Perfect. Okay, and that's August 11th. Then. So everybody mark your calendars now, August 11th. Um, hopefully things will work out that I will be able to be there uh, for it. I think I'll be up in Rochester at that point. Um, so good, I look forward to doing that. So for me, it's always been a great networking event. Um, like Leanne had said, to meet politicians and such um, and be able to talk with them and have their time and have them there, have them interested in what we're doing. Uh, has been fantastic and I think that's been a great value add to the group and uh, but the networking that happens there is just outstanding so I'm going to say come early stay late uh, it's a great event um, like I said if you're able to come for the whole event uh, it's really good and I'm going to admit really 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 good food um, so um, Leon you're going to be barbecuing again this year I hope oh yeah so we'll have the ribs and um uh, like we have in previous years, uh, last year we did some uh, Cornish hens and that was a hit. So we'll probably do that again. Um, and, you know, I'll um, food and drink that people people want. It'll, we'll be there. Excellent. And as you indicated, looking forward to seeing everybody on this call there and looking forward to having a great time. Okay. Excellent. Good. Thank you very much for that. <clears throat> Okay, um, <clears throat> we did have somebody new join us, uh, Kelly Lane, I see. And um, Kelly, what we like to have people do is just um, come on. If you want to turn on video, that's up to you. Uh, just There you are. And uh, just introduce yourself. Uh, tell us where you're from and tell us where you're at real estate wise. Um, do you own any properties now? Just where you at? and where you hope to go. So, but thank you, Kelly. Thanks for joining us and um, we'd like to introduce yourself. Absolutely. And and I apologize. It appears that my my neighbor is now mowing the front of his yard where he wasn't before. <laughs> so I apologize for the background noise. Um, my name is Kelly Lane. Um, I'm an investor first and, and very newly a, a licensed real estate agent. Um, we currently have um, two multifamily properties and just recently sold a third and looking for community um, and like-minded folks that I can connect with, uh, stay current on a lot of the information and also um, you know, some of the networking that you were talking about, Scott, is very important to me. So hoping to find uh, resources for that. Great. Well, welcome, Kelly. We're glad you're here. 
And um, yeah, um, this group is all about networking and helping uh, each other. Um, you know, a rising tide lifts all ships is what we say. And with helping each other, we all help each other succeed and we get there faster. And, um, you know, it's helped me tremendously. I've been part of FRIA since, since we started and it's helped me tremendously. And everybody here on this call has been a big help for me uh, to get to where I'm at. And um, that's a good thing with this group. You know, you can call people. Uh, I'm not sure if you're a, a paid member yet. There's a way to do that through the FRIA website. And um, yeah, but we welcome you. We're glad you're here. And uh, what we do in this meeting, we talk about alternative ways to make money in real estate other than landlording. There's another group that does landlording. And, um, you know, we just talk about other ways to make money in real estate. And it's a lot of question and answer type on this too. Uh, what we do is we let just people ask questions. Um, and we have a few steps. One of the other steps is uh, we talk about have needs wants. If you have something that you're uh, looking to sell or looking to buy, um, if you need to, are looking for a certain contractor in something or an attorney or bank person or something like that. And um, what you're looking for, if you're looking for certain types of properties, that's when we talk about this. We just go around the room. And if you're, if you have something that's great so it's have needs wants at this point and then we'll go into the question and answer period type things um so i'll kick it off as far as have needs wants uh right now i am looking for self-storage i own a few self-storage properties around the country and looking for more uh if you know of anybody looking to sell a self-storage property or if you drive by a self-storage property it looks run down you can shoot me a picture of it. We'll give them a call, see if they're looking to sell. And if they do want to sell it, um, we pay a referral fee on it. So and some of those referral fees have been really good. Um, if you know an individual and you want to give me their information, I certainly you know, will contact them and work them and we pay real handsome referral. Based on information in here, on our cell storage. So, does anybody else have anything else that they would um, have needs, wants? Go right ahead. Yeah, I'm looking for a commercial mortgage. So, my husband and I, we, we purchased a property um, in Syracuse under our LLC. <clears throat> it needs quite a bit of renovation and <clears throat> um, then I'm starting to get numbers from our contractor and definitely we're gonna, it's gonna go over what we were hoping it would. So um, I was referred to a bank, to one bank and I got some numbers, but I'm not exactly sure what would be, you know, what's a, what's a good loan because we need to loan to the LLC. So it's a commercial mortgage rather than residential. Right. I might have a suggestion for that. I'm really familiar with Syracuse, grew up in Syracuse, and okay. uh, we used Geddes Federal, which is a smaller bank in Syracuse, mm -hmm. locally 